Hello and welcome to another episode of Potion Permit. It's Arch here and uh, what do we have to do today? I think we've got to get more Moonite. That's that's the first thing. We've got one more Moonite to get. A couple of savory tasting saps. And we've got to talk to Maya. Um, so we're actually kind of... Kind of busy jumping into quests right now. So we've got the fungi dust at a bubble. We've got to talk to Maya about the Drake Aloe. Get a couple of ingredients and then continue. So I'm expecting um, quite a little bit to to do. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find Bubble. I don't know where Bubble is. Was that just... Uh, I don't know where they are. They're oh my god, there's a bunny too. I never knew there was a bunny there. You've finished the cure? All right, let's go. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, it's all gone. There we go. Some black lotus. The fungus is gone and the lotus is flourishing again. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away there. That's fine. Once again, thank you for the help. Okay, so now we just need to harvest the Black Lotus. Which requires a fair few hits. And there is something to read there as well. Come on, come at me. Oh my gosh. That's five, so we're still missing two and four. There's got to be something to improve getting those. I I don't know how, but it's just, they're too hard. I, I'm putting them in the too hard basket right now. Like... Do you have to, like, be behind them? You've got to, like, be behind them when they when they come up or something. Nope. Not like that. Or do they just pop up after... Naturally, after a couple of times? My gosh, we're going to faint. Um... Benji cried. Oh, okay. So that didn't work well. We lost. Technically, we lost a day, but really, we lost no time at all. We've completed what we needed to do for that bit. I just would have really liked to have um, actually understood what was going on. I got a little bit distracted there. It can be a bit of a pain, you know, dealing with things like this one. Um mostly because yeah it just looks incredibly hard and I don't know the right way to fight it so we will need to sort that out but first Rue there's Rue and here is your three black lotus is that the black lotus it's beautiful oh gosh I really need to get out of there to get out there and see all the flowers with my own eyes. Anyway, uh, thank you, Arch. I need to tell Xiao and Papa about this discovery. Oh, they talk to me, okay. So they really do grow around Moonbury. See, I told you I'd seen it before. Massive round of applause for Arch. Oh, yay! So you help bubble with the flowers? Wait, but maybe... The one I saw back then was another flower in her house. One that looked like this. I used to visit her once in a while to see her seed collections. Hmm. I think that must be it. 
Does that mean you've been skipping your reading session, Rue? Wow. Promise me that you'll spend more time on it in the future. Okay. All right. So we've completed that one. And now we just move on to the others. So we have... Moon Knight to get. Savory tasting sap. And we need to talk to Maya. Maya's right there. So we'll drop in on Maya and we'll chat with him. We'll get the Moon Knight because that's going to be a whole bunch of upgrades that we need to do. And I expect talking with um Maya here will start another long quest basically hmm you want to talk about something of course let's go to my so you found more chemical residue in the barren wasteland I don't know if we should talk about this but we used to have a plant that grew in that area it's a unique herb herb it's a unique herb that could only be found there. It was also proven to have miraculous healing effect. Because of that, lots of people came here to get their hands on it. Alas, things ended badly. And since you're a chemist, I'll tell you about it. It's color changed, and it could no longer be used medicinally. This all happened around the time the chemist came and offered to help. But instead of improving, the situation got worse. More and more aloe died every day. Some suspected that the chemists were behind this, and they were expelled from Moonbury. To make matters worse, a geyser exploded and blocked our route to the area. Once the geyser was in check again, I asked the rangers to see what state the wasteland was in. Only to find out that the aloe was still in the same condition. Aww. Art, would you like to investigate this with a view on restoring the aloe? Yes. Let me show you something. Just a moment. What do you got for me, Mayor? Sorry, Maya. Maya, the Mayor. Here is a journal that one of the chemists left behind. Perhaps you'll find it helpful. I wish you the best of luck, Art. Thumbs up. Barren Wasteland Experiment, Day 5. We've also- we have started our research. We've also found a cave that's perfect to use as an experiment room, though it has dirty water in it. It isn't located too far from the field, but it's safe enough and easy to find using the square stone as a landmark. As for our research, we've investigated both in the field and the aloe. Some of them have indeed been mysteriously contaminated. Compared to the healthy state, the poison ones have a very dark purplish color. The stem is slender, but it contains a lot of water that has been contaminated by poison. It seems the poison is so strong that it could kill the plant in itself after some weeks. We have to be more careful when treating it. So we need to find the cave entrance. We also need to get Moon Knight. We need to investigate everything. And we need to uh, <laughs> look after all of this. Maybe not the white meat. Wild beehive. Okay. Desert Datara. Timber fruit. Rigid pelt. Copper nugget. I'm not going to deal with that one just yet. I don't want to jump into fishing right now. We are going to see what ones we can hand in immediately. None of them, because we're about one short of all of them. That's, um... Disappointing. Come on, Benj. I really like that Benj... I don't like, but I really find it cute that Benj, um... Does the crying emote when, uh... <gasps> he loves it. Oh, yeah. 
He does the crying emote when you um when you faint. Those sharks, whatever they are, they're tough. Right, we need to find the cave. Didn't we spot a cave somewhere? I don't remember now. There's the Moon Knight though, so let's go deliver the Moon Knight to upgrade the anvil. Um, hopefully we still can, because I think our best bet is to um, get as much information as we can on how to upgrade the next tools, because I think it, they're going to be very important. No, I want to talk to Opal Heart. I might not... I might be getting on in years, but age shall not wither my skills. Oh, yeah. Have a... Thank you so much for this gift. Uh, now... Here you go. Hey, you managed to find the materials we were talking about? Splendid. Let's head to my workshop. <gasps> Ooh. How did you do that? This is what we've been needing all this time, right, Mum? It is. Thanks for helping us, Arch. So you want me to fix that thing with this? Yep. Also, can you do it now? You know you can always count on me. I think she said absolutely not also. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Finally, it looks nice. That's a fat anvil. I've never seen this baby so clean. Now I can make you much better tools, Derek. Sounds great to me. And a huge thank you to you, too, Arch. We can also upgrade your tools to the max from now on. Right. Blacksmith upgrade 2. So, oh, we actually don't need much more. We just need a bunch of wood. Um, I think we also need to expand the health, too. That might be... Oh, that is a tiny amount. But I'm still getting the next one because this place is this place is rough. Uh, we don't have the wood for this now. So basically, we just got to go get some more wood and some more stone. But we have a lot more health now, so we can probably survive a bit longer. <laughs> Which is very good because we were struggling a lot. Like, um... I think we were finally hitting that point where things were actually dangerous. And I suspect... Well, I don't really suspect. I just straight up know we should have been upgrading that stuff sooner. We gotta make some vision ward, maybe? What else can we put in that position? We need a left... Yeah, Bugly can go there. I don't want to put that in. We could do this. No. Are there any other threes? Eh, yeah, we got that. Then we got 17 of these. There we go. Vision one. So let's just make sure that I don't actually... I do need that that blue one. So let's not use the blue one again. <laughs> one of those, I just put it in and then I was thinking, you know what? I should probably check. I'm going to put this here. Oh, no. That here. There we go. And then we need a, a left L. And then a flat 3. And then... One of these ones. There we go. Yeah. 
it's it's quite fun putting these together and especially when you are when you're just unlocking them and you don't really need to worry too much about everything like uh you know what's the most efficient one it's just what can i put in to fill these gaps unlock it and then look at like what can be produced on mass but again these these ones seem pretty pretty safe the bear paw is basically all that we have that is potentially not easily regathered but also pretty easily regathered There we go. Add to recipe. And just make one. Okay. That should be a whole chunk of money now. There we go. And that will enable us to basically put a whole bunch of resources aside um, while we work on the rest here. I think Axe is the first one I need to upgrade. Just getting that feeling when I'm fighting these things. And Axe is probably the best one to start with. And that is a Moonlight block. You can tell because it's got one hump. Can we get across there? No. So the secret here is apparently one... There's like a something square... But it's okay, because most of what we're looking at right now is just wood and stone. Mate, I don't need you trying to help me to cut down that tree. Okay. It's been a lot of fun reading all of your comments on on the on the game there, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of very funny comments that i'm that i'm reading and some of them are uh, more about my play style or, or, or comment on the npc but i i think it's quite fun and i hope you're enjoying watching this as much as i'm enjoying playing it it's 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 i've have been talking with some other content creators who have been playing this and there's there's areas where it's obviously you know i think we're a little bit spoiled with some of the games out there and how how uh, great they do some some things but i think this does it what it seeks to do very very well unless it's seeking to have me eaten by a shark, a shark. I need to get better at dodging. Okay. Uh, solid. We got it. One razor fin. One. This is an absolute insane task. Runeheart, what are you asking of me? We need to get 10 of these to upgrade Runeheart's next 
part quest. Like, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Got it? Okay, we're up to two now. Yeah, very, very ridiculous. I think Runehard expects a bit too much of me. <laughs> It's, it's a very strange jump. Like, all of the others were like, come to this cutscene with me. Come see this with me. But Runeheart's one was literally, here is, you know, you have to go to the most difficult area. Not sure why they, why they made that one like that. Now, we are running low on stamina, and... We're gonna we're gonna stick it out for a little bit longer because there's wood to be cut and I wanna just keep pushing along here and collecting it as much as I can, at least for this run. Tomorrow like at this rate, I think we've got enough to upgrade something. So it's kind of like we could actually upgrade our axe and make tomorrow a better day. Okay. We also have to uh, spend some time upgrading the clinic and such as well, which is where I hope to probably wind up getting more of the uh, the desert datura and things like that, the herbs, just to use those. Because, of course, the best and easiest way to make money is by selling extra potions, which takes quite a lot of material. Alright. So, I'm going to declare this one done. We've not found the cave. But I don't think we're super fussed about that at the moment. It's almost like that, you know, you unlock the new area, so you got to upgrade your tools. And get to know the people. Alright. That's another day done. And quite a lot of resources. If you're liking watching this so far, do please give a like and subscribe to see more. It's always always nice to get uh, new subscriptions and um yeah, keeps me keeps me motivated, so I, I need the motivation. Oh no, Opal Heart. My lower left arm feels weird. My right eye feels weird. Have you tried not being mean to me? Alright. Ooh, I get to twist and poke and prod it. Not me, like, forgetting to look at the screen. Boom, done, easy. Right. So I've checked it out and it's covered in bruise. Time to poke your eye now. <laughs> Watch me just poke and prod your eye. There we go. So, your eye is suffering from wobbliness. You got a wobbly eye there, Opal. <laughs> okay. So, time to make some potions, including a wound cleanser, uh, which is lacking the actual ones we want. So, we're going in with something new this time. And that is, of course... You know, a little bit of a menthol solution there. At least I think we used mint. Either way, 
And we also need to make the 12 solution to fix that old wobbly eye of yours. I think I recall this being very heavy on these ingredients. And then we can just slot. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> as, as fun as it would be, it would be a severe lot waste of resources, I think. Um, no, we don't want to use that one either. Um, what do we got? We can put that one there. That one there. That one there. Do we have the right? Yeah, we do. That one there. And that there. There we go. We got that 12 solution done. Uh, let's go and talk to Opal Heart now and fix her up. Alright. There you go. And there you go. Too easy. Too easy, Opal Heart. Treatment completed. Nice. I haven't felt this great in years. You are so skillful. Yes, I am. In indeed I am. So let's get that wood cutting machine. Let's get that savory tasting sap. How do we know it's savory? We just lick the sap. Right, knock them down, whack them a few times with the axe. I think when they get back up, we can, yeah, we can knock them down quick enough that we can literally just keep swinging at them. This is a Moonite block. There's our tasty bit of Moonite. There's another Moonite block. Okay, so up to three out of five now. And I believe there's another, at least another two around. So maybe we can get that done today as well. That was not a Moonite piece, but we, we appreciate it nonetheless. That's not a Moonite piece down there either. I check. I check. Got him. Here is a sappy piece. And we've got the fin sharks down below. So we've got to keep an eye on them. Alright. We got the savory tasting sap. But now we can keep an eye out for... Oh, okay. I thought I'd keep an eye out, but apparently not. Uh, we're going to go for this one first, because this one, that's that's the biggest problem we had, basically. We had both, and my attention paying to one led to attention being paid being none. Oh yeah, rolled out of the way. So it's a matter of dodging one and then sneaking up behind them with a hammer and just braining them. Come on. Come on. There we go. So we're up to 3 out of 10 now. Runeheart, you are... Wow. Runeheart, you are very demanding. Up you get. Come on. Haha, dodged ya. One more. Oh. Clever girl. Here we go. Ah, oh, he got me again. There we go. We got another razor fin at least. At least we got something out of it. We've also got the sap. And 
we are in time to go and hand in our our quests. Well, quest, just one at the moment. Um, we'll get the uh, the axe upgraded. We'll get the wood cutting machine upgraded, and they should lead to. Probably the next level of, uh, I guess, house and clinic upgrades, but I've not quite reached the need for them yet. Let's have a look. So the axe, we'll get the axe upgraded. We don't actually need that much for the hammer to be upgraded. A couple of thousand and mostly wood. Which is more than doable. And Reyna, here you go. Here is your sap. Here's your sticky stuff. Wait. Why are you giving me it? Let's talk at my place then. You asked for this, man. Darn it, how could Boris be so careless? Uh... Anyway, thanks for the material. Do you mind me upgrading my woodcutting board with this? Yep. Okay, here we go. my wood cutting board upgraded anyway thank you for taking my request on it would be wrong of me to not give you something in return Mwah. since i had a great catch earlier i decided to do a bit of a culinary experimentation not much but i thought i'd share the recipe with you what did we get carpenter upgrade 2 and a new recipe Closed on Tuesdays. Okay, so he's... He is no good to me. Benji? You have some meat. Good boy. Okay. Let's see what we can hand in now. Oh. We have a cutscene. No problem. I'll help you out. Uh. Arch, great timing, partner. That doesn't sound good. Dean has lost an important package. But he's in luck because we're here to help. Where did you lose it? The last place I remember having it at was the Arcade Center. That should be a good place to start. Right. There must be some clues there. Let's go. I have been roped in. <laughs> you can help me with this case. It's Detective Russo's first. Onwards. Uh... Right, so we can go to the arcade center, but I... Oh, we've got the Daitura. Okay. That's some money and some apple juice, which is always good. Hello. So, you're from the capital. I heard there's an abundance of artifacts in the museum. Is that true? I wanted to go talk to the tailor as well. I just remembered. Because I don't think we've... I don't think we've really checked out this place. Oh. Oh, I do apologize. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Your appearance is so dull. Hey, I picked those colors. Well, welcome to my shop, Silky Stitch Tailors. I don't sell whatever fashion is popular in the capital right now, darling. You may be wearing the best materials, but there's just no finesse. All right, let's get fancy. Also, let's give Rue a gift. Are you sure this is for me? 
Gardening is pretty fun now that I've tried it. Hopefully they'll bloom into beautiful flowers. I can't wait to see that happen. Yes! Okay, so we can actually change... How do we... Oh, we buy them. Okay. Okay, so let's look at hair colors. We got this. We could get a slightly darker one, or we could go... <gasps> I like that one. And hairstyle. I still like this one the most. <laughs> We've spent too much time out in the... We're dealing with chemicals. Our skin is slowly, slowly succumbing. Uh, eye color. Okay, that's interesting. Now, outfit color, we went with the dark purple. But we could... Oh, I like that. I like that gray. What about the cape doing... Do we still want the green with the cape? I think so. But now we can do a purple eye as well. Or pink. There we go. We have upgraded our look. We have now gone the dark clothes. We cannot be found at night. I am at night. I still don't know where to get the wild beehives from. Um, we'll have to keep on checking there. Actually, let's go to up up to Olive and give her her a present. Give her a present, and use the bathroom as well, uh, the bathhouse. Hello, Olive. With my newfound courage, I feel like I can do anything, Arch. It's all thanks to you. Not that I'm complaining, of course. I rarely receive gifts from anyone. Thank you. Oh, okay. Have I maxed out? I don't think I can marry or leave. Well, I don't know about marry, but... Oh, there's... I am surrounded by lady. Nice. You won't, see, you won't see Arch here complaining. He's got his new hairstyle. He's feeling pretty good. Um. So let's look at Olive. So the, the maxed out yellow seems to be the most... Oh, okay. Olive is the seventh generation of bathhouse owners. As the only bathhouse owner in town, she spent her entire life in Moonbury, never leaving its borders. She's the type of person who adores life outside Moonbury, especially in the capital. If there's anything she could do to get out of this tiny shell, she'll be the first in line. Having taken care of her family business since forever, Olive has always had the desire to start a new life, to leave and start a new life. When the bathhouse machine breaks down, she thinks that this is her chance to leave. But everything changes once she realizes how, import realizes how important the bathhouse is for Moonbury. She starts to appreciate everything she has in it. Aww. So yeah, you gotta get the higher friendships to understand more of them. Mateo is the seventh generation of Moonbury's witch doctors. Healers who are obliged to protect their sacred medical traditions. He has sworn to only use only natural healing methods and refuses any new medical techniques from the capital. This makes him the hardest person to deal with in the town. Although he looks serious and stern, he's actually very clumsy when it comes to physical activities, which means he loses his precious notes in the field if he gets chased by a wild animal. With the chemist's helping hand, the notes are saved, but Matteo is unhappy that Arch didn't bring man manage to bring them back in one piece. Am I seriously that that blind? It literally says romanceable. Literally says romanceable. And I miss I missed all of that. Wow, Runehard isn't mo romanceable. Okay. I haven't met that person yet. Cecilia isn't romanceable. I mean that kind of makes sense. She is a nurse. Xiao can be. I can't romance Bubble. I like Bubble. How have I not met these other people, though? Can't romance the cat, shaking my head. Where is today going? Um. Okay. 
So we've learned who we can and cannot romance. And Olive, unfortunately, is off the table. So is Cecilia and Rue. Actually, who leaves that romanceable of the female NPCs? We've got Martha. Martha is the waitress at the tavern. Rue. Rue's the daughter. Okay, maybe those ones have to be unlocked as well. It's kind of surprised there's only two romanceable NPCs. Maybe they'll add more later on. I hope they'll add more. Hang on, where is... What? Okay. Never mind. Oh, that feels so good. That is so satisfying to just... Oh, yes. If these are timbers, then I am shivered. I'm still being hit pretty heavily. Like, if you look at the damage taken, it's still quite high, but that's okay. I find it amusing because there's, there's feelings like this that I'm nearing the end game, and yet... I feel like I've not explored enough. I've not upgraded enough. And as of the time of recording this, there's there's 20 episodes of Potion Permit currently on my YouTube channel. Like we are What well, that 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 works out to easy probably uh just thinking it's at least 11 or 12 hours worth of content. And, it, yeah, it's just a bit of a surprise that it feels like, like, this game feels like it could literally go on forever. Like, you just unlock more and more and more as you go. Okay, we got, we got the majestic horn. I still want to work out what to do with this. We also need to find the other the other papers too. Cause I also want to learn what's been happening, but I I feel like I'd be cheating myself if I read ahead, you know? Is that is that the uh is the cave in there? I don't think so actually. Okay, nothing there. This just melts trees. I I want to go back to the other places and melt those trees too. <laughs> We're already back up to a thousand of them and that's just great. I suspect what we'll do is we'll have enough resources and then we'll just have to start getting the gold again which means mostly making potions and i i mean the making potions bit isn't too hard it's just making them in a way that is easily repeatable quite often we wind up running out of materials or you know one one or one or two types of the materials so we have to mix and match things a lot There we go. All the Black Lotus. And, and I'm also aware that I've not actually spent much, if not any time, <laughs> looking for this cave entrance. 
there's just too many other things to do at the moment. You know, I gotta get the, uh, I gotta upgrade the tools because it's a major, major detriment when you are running around with lesser tools. But also, is it here? I don't even know what it's meant to look like. Um, let's have a look here. Drake Allo. Find the cave entrance. There's a cave near a square-shaped stone. And I don't know the size of this stone, so... Oh, we're out of stamina. Is there anything we can... No, nothing we should probably have. Oh, the root of a plant that is commonly used as medicine and an aphrodisiac. Calm down. Calm down. So this looks like a square-shaped stone hole, but not a square-shaped stone. This looks like a square-shaped stone, but... No. We'll we'll run home, or at least to the, the tippy top of the barren wastelands, and then we'll um we'll pop back through via the teleport. This this looks like a square shaped stone. That looks like a square shaped stone. Everything looks like a square-shaped shaped stone if you squint enough. And that's kind of the problem here. <laughs> if I squint, everything looks like a square shape. Hmm. We'll have to dodge the Krabby. There's an, a square archway. But I don't see any real square-shaped stone. Is... No? We'll just dodge the flame-throwing nut. Uh, what about over here? No. We might need to actually look it up on, like, the wiki or something, because I'm drawing a blank, and I feel that I should probably be able to look at it and work it out, and if I can't, then that's probably a problem for me. Craft four times to unlock. Okay, is there anything that would make this easy to craft? I don't think so. I do not think so. At least not in the... Okay, we got that. 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 Guys, do that. Thunder kiss. Three more times. I forget the other bits I used. <laughs> Just looking at all this, going, I have no recollection. One thing I'm noticing about a lot of the pieces is it doesn't necessarily make them... Like, there's no pieces that fill more slots. You just tend to wind up with different colored versions of the same pieces. Like, there's a set amount of... Or a set style of pieces. Or a set set piece list. 
and just different different items fill that piece for a different color which is okay but i really wish that there was some more variation to it like playing through and looking at it all and as i as i you know realize that i've got pretty much all of the pieces unlocked now there's only this that one up there the black white mark one that i don't have and it's kind of just like i'm left wondering if there if there couldn't be more variety in the pieces to the point that you could sort of rotate some or you just wind up with bigger pieces that can fill more rather than just variations that are different sized but this is where we wrap up for tonight um i'm gonna pause it because i think i pass out in <laughs> 10 minutes in the game so we've completed quite a bit in this in this one we've got enough resources that we're actually going to be able to upgrade another tool once we get the money it's also good we need to keep looking for the resources. We're going to get more razor fins now that we can we can actually easily do them. We know the pattern now, so we're not going to die so much. We can collect all of the the resources, upgrade the everything, right? Basically, and hopefully we see more progress in the town. That's kind of what I really want to see. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm live on Twitch three nights a week if you'd like to see more. And I also release videos on YouTube three days. If you'd like to keep in touch, there's a link to the Discord down below where you can keep up to date with streams, YouTube videos, everything else. And get to know the wonderful community that we've built over on Twitch and be a part of it all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Good night.